3.6 magnitude earthquake strikes Los Angeles area magnitude 3, 6 earthquake was felt in the Los Angeles area late Monday evening. According to the U.S. Geological Survey, the earthquake could be felt at 11.20 p.m. 4 miles from Westwood, California. TH epicenter of the quake was west of Interstate 405 in the Santa Monica Mountains. The Los Angeles Times reported there haven't yet reports of any major damage or injuries from the quake, which the U.S. Geological Survey said brought moderate shaking before Monday's quake. The last one to hit the area was a 3.4 magnitude Saturday, with the epicenter being located 7 miles from Calipatria. On September 15, a devastating 8.2 magnitude earthquake brought destruction to southern Mexico. If the same thing were to occur in the same area as Monday's quake, the damage would be catastrophic. Unfortunately for Californians, an enormous earthquake is coming, though there's no telling the exact location or when it will happen. Scientists have long warned that a major quake will hit California because of its location, along the San Andreas Fault. A 2013 U.S. Geological Survey study found a 7% probability that an 8.0 magnitude earthquake or greater will take place along the fault sometime within the next 30 years. The last major earthquake to hit the Southern California region was in 1857, when one measuring 7.8 on the Richter scale is the LA area. However, the area was a lot less populated back then, so if that same earthquake were to happen today, the damage would potentially be widespread. With the biggest earthquake ever undoubtedly on its way, according to scientists, Monday's earthquake caused quite a stir. Many social media users reported feeling the shaking, but it was minor, but that didn't stop them from freaking out and questioning if it's finally time for the historic earthquake. The seismic movement comes at a time when natural disasters have been ravaging much of the southeastern portion of the United States on August 25th. Hurricane Harvey made landfall as a Category 4 hurricane in the Houston, Texas area. In the days that followed, many parts around the city experienced historic rainfall totals of over 40 inches in a three-day span. The rainfall led to catastrophic flooding across the area and displaced hundreds of thousands of people. Harvey contributed toward the death of 82 people in the U.S. A little over one week later, Hurricane Irma struck many areas in southern Florida. It made landfall as a historic Category 5 hurricane and was one of the most intense storms to come out of the Atlantic and make landfall in the United States since Hurricane Katrina in 2005. The storm led to one of the largest evacuations in United States history. With close to 6 million people being placed under some type of evacuation orders, as of September 19, officials said Irma's led to the deaths of at least 84 people. Understandably so, those who felt the earthquake were a little startled. And they let it be known on social media. Here are some of the best mums and reactions to the 3.6 earthquake. 